Seeing tryouts from a player's perspective and a coach's perspective, I'm going to give you guys my list of do's and don'ts going into this year's basketball tryouts. How's it going, everyone? If you are watching this video, that means you or someone you know could use a little extra advice going into basketball tryouts. So with that being said, let's get started. Number one on my list is show up on time. This is going to be your first impression to a new team, a new coach, and it's very important that you show up in a timely manner. All right, I would say show up five, 10 minutes, maybe even 15 minutes before the doors open or you're in the gym getting ready, but show up on time. Do not show up late. If you show up late, that sends a very bad message into towards the people who are gonna be evaluating you, whether or not they want you on the team, all right? So do not show up late, all right? If you show up late, chances are they might even kick you out, all right? So show up on time. Number two on my list is show up in the right gear. Right? You don't want to walk into the gym with jeans, you know, slacks, a polo. Make sure you guys are ready to try out. Right? So make sure you have athletic shoes. I understand a lot of people may not be able to afford basketball shoes, but show up in athletic gear. Shoes, shorts, t-shirt. Show up like you're ready to work out. All right? Again, you're here to try out. That means it's a workout. It's an evaluation. So show that you can dress accordingly to the event that you're showing up to. Number three on my list, be prepared to work hard, all right? You are not walking into an open gym. It's not a pickup game. These are tryouts, all right? You have to be ready to go. Tryouts are meant to weed players out. It's meant to be very challenging. There's a lot of running, sprinting, you know, conditioning, a lot of drills. It is very fast paced, all right? Don't come in there with the mindset that this is going to be easy. I must just walk through this. Even players who've been on previous teams or in the previous years have difficulties actually going through the tryout process, all right? It is meant to weed players out. Who can withstand the challenges of a two, three hour tryout? So be prepared to work hard. Number four on my list is show your best qualities, all right? Remember, this is an evaluation. When you're walk in, walking in, you wanna show what you're good at, all right? You wanna show your strengths, all right? So if you're a great shooter, shoot the ball. If you're a great ball handler, dribble, all right? Create. If you're a great defender, show that you can lock up your man, all right? It's very important that you show your strengths, all right? This is like an interview, all right? If you're going through an interview process, you wanna show your best qualities, you wanna show that you're capable, all right? If you're not the best shooter, you probably shouldn't be shooting 30 foot uh, jump shots, all right? If you're not the best ball handler, you may wanna move without the ball a little bit more and work on shoot, uh, scoring without having the ball in your hands, all right? Be sure to show your best qualities, all right? Show the coaches why you belong on their team. Number five on my list is show hustle and effort. All right, this is very important. All right, like I said before, trials are gonna be very difficult, all right? Do not walk at any point during your trials, all right? Even if the coach says, go get water, don't walk, all right? Because usually there's gonna be a time limit. Hustle in everything that you do. From one drill to the next, there should be, at the very least, a slight jog, all right? Coaches pay attention on who's walking on their floor. I know this because I've been a player that witnessed it and I've been a coach that enforces it, all right? Do not walk from one station to the next, all right? It's very important that you show your hustle and you show your effort at all times. Number six on my list is be a good teammate, all right? You don't wanna walk into the gym with an isolated mindset. You know, after all, this is a team sport, all right? You got four other guys on the court 
that are helping you achieve one goal, all right? So show that you can be a good teammate in the midst of these tryouts, all right? In drills, you know, if you got a few guys that are coming in last, you know, cheer them on, encourage them, all right? Coaches love seeing guys rooting for their teammates. So be a good teammate. All right, y'all, so those are my list of do's and don'ts when it comes to basketball tryouts, all right? These are very important. You know, there's other lists out there. These are just my opinions, uh, just based off my experience. You know, so again, you know, you want to make sure you show up on time, show up in the right gear, be prepared to work hard, show your best qualities, uh, show hustle and effort, and show that you're a good teammate, all right? And I'm going to give you guys a bonus, all right? Bring your own water, all right? Coaches is going to have you guys have a water break, I'm sure. The water break isn't going to be long, all right? It's probably going to be a couple minutes because he has to do a lot of evaluating within a short amount of time with a lot of players, right? Everybody rushing to the water fountain like that, there's not going to be any time for everybody to get a drink, all right? So bring your own water. That's my bonus for y'all. Bring your own water. You're going to thank me for it, all right? But good luck to everyone uh, to their basketball trials this year, and best of luck you know, to all the coaches and players uh, throughout this coming season. All right, I'm looking to hear some good reports.